Good morning. How we doing? Oh, dead spider on my lens. Ew. <laughs> anyway, so here I am in Samson. You can see it there over the rise. And my bus dropped me off just there. How's that for convenience? Camp spot right next to the bus stop. I didn't even have to search. I literally rode 50 meters and boom, I found like a little sunken spot as you can see. So yeah, I have got a new energy and a new attitude for today. I'm going to go to the beach and I'm going to check out Samson and I'm going to ride along the coast for a while and just have a new crack at Turkey. I'm really hoping that it's different in this area because I really wasn't having fun. So here we are. Here we go. I'm going to pack up now. I'll see you in the city. Cool. So, started to put all the bags on my bike just now and realized I've got a puncher on the back. I haven't fixed a puncher since Spain, I think. Or something like this, like months ago. That's how good these tires are. I love these tires. These are Marathon Plus 12. And I mean, I know I'm punching a bit of a brand here, but they're lined with Kevlar and these things just never get punches. So when I have to fix a puncher, I'm quite surprised. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch the tube out. I actually had a lump in the back wheel anyway from the tube being a little bit swollen and I've just been putting off until I got a puncher to fix it. And now I got one, so new tube going in and, uh, and then I'll get on the road. Then I'll see you in the city. See you around. Here we are in Samson. I got a good feeling about this. Uh, I've definitely got up with a better attitude. I've done quite a bit of uh, maintenance on my bike as well, changed over the brakes and things like that. It's been a pretty good morning. I'm just hungry as hell. I haven't had any breakfast. I ate all my food last night on the bus, so uh, super duper hungry. So I'm just gonna look for somewhere to eat and then I'm gonna head down to the beach. I'll see you at the beach, yeah? How are we doing? So, man, I'm gonna hit some beach. Well, it's more of a old dock than anything. I was kinda hoping I could go for a swim, but uh, I don't think that's quite possible. A lot of people fishing and stuff like that, but uh, that's about it. Um, so, I just had a kid come up. Uh, well, he didn't come up to me. He, he was trying to fix his bike. And I went over to help him out. And his dad was with him and a couple of friends. And then, uh, essentially, I said, yeah, I can fix your bike. And it was just a pedal. The pedal had come off. And his dad had been trying to shove it back in so fucking hard. He threaded the, uh, the crank arm. Uh, I was trying to put it back in nice and straight, but his dad got a little bit frustrated and took the tool off me and then finished the job. Completely threading the hell out of this kid's bike. So, there goes another bike that just won't be usable. That kid's gonna ride that pedal for about five minutes and then the pedal's gonna fall off and just be fucked. So, a bit disappointing. I hate it when things like that happen. If you just let me finish doing the work, I would've done it properly and had the pedal on there nice and tight, but patience of Turkish people. Okay, so here we are. Finally made it to the actual beach. We can go swimming. It's just that you have to pay to go in and uh, it's surrounded by barbed wire. Pretty cool, huh? That's the only beach in Samson, so I had a look along the coast on the map. There's not really any other beaches either, so it turns out if you want to go to the beach in uh, Turkey, you've got to pay the money. Just like everything, you have to pay. You have to pay to take a piss, you have to pay to take a shit, you have to pay to go to the beach, you have to pay to put your bike on the bus when technically you've already paid for it, uh, you have to pay for internet, everything you have to pay for here, and that's just the way it is. I really don't like Turkey. I'm gonna ride along the coast now. I'll find my own place to swim. Um, but I'm going to ride along the coast as fast as I can to Georgia and I'm just going to take my time in Georgia and the Armenia and these places because I fucking hate Turkey. But I'm going to keep a good attitude. So that's that. I've left Samson and now I'm making a beeline out of Turkey. I've had enough of it. I've given it far too many chances. This morning I woke up in a great attitude and it just brought me back down again. The people here, the situations, the fact you have to pay for everything. 
I just, I think, you know, the highlight of my journey has been an eight hour fucking bus ride. I mean, if that doesn't tell you something about the country, then I don't know what does. I just, I can't stand the place. I can't wait to get out. I really hope and I fucking, really hope something good happens to me on the way out. It's gonna take me about five days to ride across the coastline to get the fuck out of here. I really want something good to happen to make me change my opinion about this place, but I don't see it happening. Fuck you, Turkey. You really fucked me over. How are we doing? I've just come off the highway. I've decided that uh, I'm gonna have a quiet night tonight. All this negativity is really draining me out, so I'm gonna see if I can find a nice campsite and just take my time. Just chill out. I might even see if I can have a fire or something like that. So I've, uh, it's about 4.30 now. I want to get there by five o'clock and give myself a good hour to get my get everything sorted and together and just yeah and just have a bit of relaxment um turkey's just sucked it out of me so much that i've got to do something to start bringing the positive vibes back up and i think a nice fire will do exactly that so hopefully out by the seaside i can find a nice flat spot where i can have a fire and not be bothered that'd be nice Country roads. <laughs> so things are taking a change. I've uh, ended up in a village and check now I'm a bit check, of a celebrity. Check, <laughs> check, 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 check. <laughs> so now everyone wants to take a photo and everyone's getting around. Say hi. Check, check. <laughs> check, check. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got another photo. Here we go. I think. Oh no, he's got another message. <laughs> anyway, so I finally started to put a smile on the face. Now I'm having a good time. Here we go. What an addict. Okay, now my bike's in the back, oh, and now we're driving down the road. Uh, security guard at University, we've got a cop in the car as well, and uh, everyone else, I'm not quite sure what they do, but uh, I think we're going to the beach, Plaj? Plaj? Okay. Okay, so I think we're going to the beach now. <laughs> I don't know. Tom, let's see what happens. Stunts. Please! <laughs> Okay, so they just brought me back to the highway I just come off. I literally rode about two kilometers off and they brought me back here. I thought they would take me to the beach. They think that it's better for me just to ride along the highway. I want to get off the highway. I want to go somewhere to chill out and camp. I thought we were going to go to the beach or something just now, but they just brought me back to the highway, dropped me off and just left. They've got to be... Turkish people, they just don't get it. If you're not driving somewhere and making money or something like this, they just don't understand that I'm just going on an adventure and I just want to go for a bike ride. I want to go camping somewhere. They just don't get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm bewildered by how, you know, how daft they are. So now I'm back on the freeway, back where I got off the freeway for the reason of getting off the freeway. Now I'm back by the trucks again. So I'm going to ride down to the next exit and do the same thing again and go back down in there. Seriously, what the f So some more people have decided to give me forceful fucking directions on telling me which way to go. Where have they sent me? Back to the fucking highway! What the fuck? I don't want to be on the fucking highway! Everyone seems to think that it's dangerous to ride on a small country fucking road. Then on a fucking highway! What the fuck? So here I am in a rural area. Against uh, the safety instructions uh, of people saying that it's too dangerous to be here, uh, that the highway is much better for for the direction that I'm going. I think they've got the whole 
you know, destination and journey thing mixed up. I mean, I'm on a journey. I'm not trying to be somewhere. They, they think they're trying to tell me to go along the highway to get there quickly, but I'm not in a hurry. Well, I mean, I am in a hurry to get the fuck out of this country, but I mean, I've got to stop at some point. I think they think that I can ride all the way to fucking, uh, you know, 500 kilometers to another country in, in an afternoon, which is just not going to happen. Um, anyway, so I've got some stuff together for a fire. Someone's already had a fire here, so... I mean, I'm not damaging anything. It's already been burnt there. And there's a nice little flat spot here. So I'm going to pop the tent here now. And if anyone comes, I'll just say, look, I'm just here for tonight. I'm going. And if they tell me to go, I'll fucking go. Whatever, I'll go camp somewhere else. And I just won't have a fire and I won't have dinner. I'll get over it. Anyway, next video will be a peace out. I'll talk to you then. So here we are. I've just camped by the road. I just couldn't care less anymore. I'm just gonna camp here and have a fire. So this is my first fire of the journey and uh, super easy to do. There's just wood laying around all over the place. I didn't even need tinder, there's plenty of dead grass. So I just picked some and chuck it under there and then boom, fire. Just one light of the lighter, poof, there it goes. Super easy. So I'm gonna cook some dinner. I'm gonna prepare everything and then uh, cook it on the coals and have a really nice dinner. So, today, what a fucking roller coaster, huh? Just, turkey's not for me. It's really not for me. I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of this country as quickly as possible. So tomorrow I'm just making a beeline. I'm just going to keep on going. I mean, I I'm not sure if the people mean well or if they just don't understand tourists or they don't understand people traveling. It's like everyone was so concerned with telling me how to get back on the road to get moving you know to find yourself you got to get lost everyone kept thinking i was lost i'm not lost i want to be lost i know exactly where i am i don't know where i am it's pretty simple you know just i'm just going i'm not necessarily going anywhere in particular i'm just just going places that's it that's kind of the point of it Anyway, so, stark realisation that I've got to keep doing that. I've got to keep moving. I've got to keep going. I've got to get out of here. So, peace out. Peace out is, look, maybe somebody wants to be lost. You don't need to give everyone direction all the time. Not everybody needs to be doing what you're doing. Let people do whatever they like. Let them live their own life. Let them cut their own path. That's all I'm doing and that's all you should do. Just let people live their own life. Peace out.